and you're probably the first place to start there is uh, and it's only obviously just finished but can you give us an update on uh, the two injuries Louis and uh, Ben Godfrey yes Louis Thompson the hamstring injury um, so pretty quick in the game he uh, said he was uh, was out and uh, we're a bit concerned that um, he's out for a few days hopefully just the muscle strain but uh, yeah we have to wait how long he will be out and um, yeah, to be honest I'm really uh, concerned uh, because of Ben Godfrey because he was sick uh, he rolled his ankle and hopefully it's not too bad but it's pretty painful and uh, sadly he had to uh, leave the stadium on crooks and we have to wait and tomorrow there will be a scan and um, appointment with the doctor and um, yeah we have to wait uh, how it develops but uh, to be honest I'm a bit concerned at the moment. And that is the last thing you want particularly with Christoph, uh, you know, not being involved at the start of the season. Yes Christoph seems to be uh, not available we have to wait how the re-up uh, will develop. Also, Tim uh, still struggling a bit in this re-up, so was not involved in team training so far. Granted, Ben uh, were, were more or less uh, the only uh, centre-back options, and uh, if Ben is right now also out for yeah, more or less a long period, uh, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't be nice, and it would cause some problems if, uh, if I'm honest. But yeah, we have to wait, and uh, anyhow, we will have to find a, a way to handle this situation. Obviously, the worst case I mean, is probably don't want to speculate too much, but if he was out for any length of time. He, would you have to probably look at the market again in that area of the field? Yeah, perhaps we, we have to do this. So it's, it's really unlucky that uh, with Christoph we've got this uh, long-term injury and also uh, hopefully not, but uh, it could be with, uh, with Ben. And yeah, the, the only good thing is uh, that at least at the moment we, we are perhaps uh, available to or capable to, to react. Uh, I hope we don't have to uh, because I, I trust my group of, uh, of lads, but we have to wait what the scan the doctor says if he's out for a long time or not. With Tim, you say he hasn't been in team training, so is it probably unrealistic to think he would be available for the game on the tour at the end of Schalke? No, I think, I think um, yeah, probably not for Schalke, but at least then for the Brentford game. So I think he will join us at any point uh, during this week. So in general, he's, um, he's uh, not far away from team training, but also he has, has to work a bit then on um, his conditioning as well. And, and, and uh, I think as, uh, at least in the next two games, uh, we'll have some problems uh, yeah, in terms of centre backs, that's for sure. A couple of the other lads who weren't involved today, if you could give us a look down there, Mario uh, and Alex and, and Todd as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex got a setback um, two days ago in, in team training with his calf and a small calf injury, we have to wait. Uh, he was in the scan today but uh, didn't have the result so I'm, I'm still waiting. Um, yeah, Mario doesn't look too bad. I think in the, one of the next days he will join us during team training and Todd should be involved uh, already tomorrow so in, all in all. Yeah, just a few small problems. Um, yeah, like you always have after a knock or a small strain in, in pre-season. I think that's quite normal. I'm a bit more concerned with this contact injury today uh, for Ben Godfrey, and of course also with, with Christoph Zimmerman. So Christoph seems to be uh, in a good way in his rear, but yeah, yeah, we have to wait how it develops uh, over the next days. Just to clarify with with Mario and Todd, are they just calves? Right. A slight strain. Yes, exactly. It was a slight uh, calf strain. He was out for a few days in uh, team training, but nothing too special. I hope uh, that he's also involved at, any, uh, at some point uh, during the next week. Game itself, um, not often you see a red card in a friendly. What did you make of it? Yes, it was perhaps a bit of sign, so we expected a uh, pretty tough test uh, today because uh, Bielefeld is one of the teams who will definitely fight for promotion to the top flight in Germany and they're pretty close to the start, so the, the head coach made it clear. So the preparation for this game was like for a normal league game with media analyzing and you could feel it on the pitch. They were pretty aggressive and, and uh, yeah, we were really greedy to be there with good performance, a good result. And so um, we were uh, there. Yeah, with the same attitude and it's uh, perhaps a tough test for the first game but yeah we, we, our, our attitude was so we want this f uh, tough first test and not just a friendly to um, yeah to get used to a game anyhow so it was good to have this game at, uh, and we know um, you're at least back in the room exactly give us your thoughts on, on your new boys you started them all today ralph in goal uh, mm -hmm. joseph and, and patrick as well good performance so my feeling is uh, they adapted pretty good uh, to this group and and um, yeah feel pretty much uh, settled in on already uh, ralph pretty solid good good save in the first half uh, in one situation i think uh, josep uh, was was good in the pressing also you could feel that he's a real instinct in, in order to score goals and his good positioning and also was a pretty calm and and cool down and finish with a penalty so um, that gives hope uh, in comparison to last season. Um, also, pass, um, Patrick had some uh, some really good uh, situations um, close to the box. Was one or two times pretty close to to score as well, and uh, to be there was um, also uh, assist perhaps. And I'm pleased with all three of them.